Science 6. Vegetative Propagation in Plants. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the different ways of propagating plants. Compare natural vegetative propagation from artificial vegetative propagation. Classify the plants according to the parts on how they are propagated. Know the advantage and disadvantage of vegetative propagation in plants. Aside from flowers, you learn that plants can also reproduce through cones and spores. Reproduction through spores involves an asexual reproduction process. But aside from spores, did you know that there are a lot of other ways that plants can reproduce or propagate asexually or without the fertilization of male and female gametes? This reproduction process is called vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is a plant reproduction process wherein the vegetative parts that include the roots, stems, buds, and leaves, instead of seeds and spores, of the parent plant aid in regrowing new plants. It can be natural or artificial vegetative propagation. Natural vegetative propagation. Natural vegetative propagation is the process in which a new plant grows out of a mature plant without human intervention. Plants can grow from leaves. Some leaves develop buds, or areas where plantlets form, at their tips. These buds eventually develop roots. When the roots fall off and touch the ground, new plants grow and develop into adult. Examples are bryophyllum plants, like kalanchoe. Plants can grow from stems. A stem has nodes where leaves are attached and buds can grow. Stems generally grow above the ground. However, some plants have stems that grow underground. These are called modified stems. Plants with special stems include runners, tubers, bulbs, corms, and rhizomes. These plants propagate through their modified stems. Runners, also known as stolons, are horizontal stems that grow above the ground. Plantlets form along the stolon. Roots form where the stolon touches the ground. When a stolon with roots and plantlet breaks from the parent plant, the new plant grows independently. For example, strawberries, Bermuda grass, and creeping ivy. Tubers are enlarged or swollen underground stem. It contains stored food and has nodes or tiny eyes on its surface called axillary buds, which develop into young new plants. Potatoes and dahlia are examples of tubers. Bulbs consist of short underground stems. It has many fleshy leaves called scales that store food. At the center of the bulb is an apical bud that grows upward at the peak. Lateral bud grows at the side of the bulb and produces new shoots or young outgrowths. Examples are onions, lilies, and tulips. Corms have a thick stem base with scaly leaves at the nodes and contain stored food. These scaly leaves are made of solid tissues, which differentiate them from bulbs. Plants with corms include gabi or taro, arrowhead, and cocoyam. Rhizomes are horizontal underground stems that grow near the ground surface. They can grow buds at the nodes, which will become new plants. Examples include ginger, lotus, grasses, and turmeric. Plant can grow from roots. Root tuber is a singular, enlarged or swollen root, that functions as storage organ for water and nutrients. Sweet potatoes and cassava are examples of root tubers. Shoots or suckers are new underground stem that come out from the roots of the modified stems. These new stems become young sprouts or new plants. Banana and bamboo plants grow from shoots. Artificial Vegetative Propagation Artificial vegetative propagation is the process in which humans grow new plants from the different parts of a mature plant through various methods. The most common artificial vegetative propagation methods are stem cutting, grafting, marcotting, layering, and tissue culture. Stem cutting involves cutting a part of a stem and placing it in moist soil or water. When the stem takes root in the soil, it will grow a new plant of the same species. When placed in water, Roots should appear first from the submerged stem before transplanted to a fertile soil. Examples of these plants are santan, gumamela, rose, and bougainvillea. 
Grafting is a method that combines two species of plants, wherein a cut upper part of a plant or shoot is attached to a cut part of a rooted plant. The rooted portion is called the stock, while the shoot portion is the cyan. Mango Lansonis, and Calamansi are propagated through this method. Marcotting is a method of growing adventitious roots from a stem. Adventitious roots are roots developing from non-root parts. In this method, a part of a healthy branch is scraped off to remove the bark and then covered with fertile soil and held in place by coconut husk or a plastic. After some time, roots come out on the part covered in soil. If this part is cut and planted, it will grow into a new plant. Common trees that use marcotting for propagation include chico, jackfruit, and guava. Layering is a method wherein stems or branches of plant are bent until they touch the ground and covered in soil. Adventitious roots eventually develop from the soil-covered stem. This is a new root system in the plant, referred to as the layer. The branch is cut from the parent plant to allow the new plant to grow independently. Plants with young and flexible stems can be propagated in this way. Black raspberries and jasmine are examples of plants that undergo this reproduction technique. Tissue culture is a modern method of reproduction, which uses a cut-off piece from a plant. This piece is nurtured in a laboratory until it develops into plantlets. These plantlets will be transferred to good soil for them to develop into fully grown plants. Advantages of vegetative propagation Preserves all positive traits of the parent plant. Allows repeated reproduction. Helps maintain quality crops in commercial production. Disadvantage of vegetative propagation limits the variety of plants as this process produces clone plants. Practice exercise. Identify the kind of natural vegetative propagation for each plant. Onion. Bulb. Strawberry. Stolen, or runners. Ginger. Rhizome. Banana. Suckers or shoots. Potato. Tuber.